Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of State of K2. Alrighty, when we left off, we had helped out a couple of our buddies nearby just before taking out the flaming ant badasses, and it sounds like I've said this a lot before because I have, but <laughs> things keep popping up before I try to take them out. But this time, this time, this time for sure, we will take them out. In fact, I have it set up, so we're going to immediately go hey, to them directly face. after this. Uh, we're going to enlist Dawn to follow quick. us. I know you got a minute. After you. Sounds good. She's going to follow us, and we're going to go take out the flaming badasses once and for all. That said, I need to drop off everything that's in the trunk. There we go. Oops, we don't have enough ammo storage. That's fine. We can make more ammo. That's just fine. Make more of these, which we never really touch that often. And then some of that. There we go. We got now all of that's taken up. Yep, that we do. Perfect. All right. And car is gassed up fully. It is time to move. We are taking out the flaming badasses forward. It is now. The time is now. We are doing it. We are doing it right the fuck now. Perfect. Oh, jeez. <laughs> taking out those fucking Zambambos first. Oh. Lure you to follow us until you kill yourself. And it exploded itself. Good. Perfect. Oh, jeez. Okay. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, that was great. Okay. Up there we go. Fuck you. Go around you. And we're going to take out the badasses once and for all. I keep saying it because I'm making sure I do it. <laughs> yes. Start the final mission. Okay. Okay, well, you know what? I'm stuck. And... There we go. Come on. Oh, I had to be moved entirely somewhere different. Cool. Alright. I find it's also very close to my uh, water base. That's a little annoying. Very close to my outpost. Just about there, Esse. How dare you fucks do that so close to my old... Oh. Oh. Well, I think I could make use of a certain weapon. Nice. You're graceful. Make use of a certain throwable bait thing that we picked up a while back. Take one of these. And we have a few Willy Pete grenades. Might as well take some proper flashbangs and actual grenades while I'm at it. But first, we will make sure we sneak in. Nice and slow. Well, well. It appears we have a guest. Everyone, please make the sheriff feel welcome. This is one hell of a facility. Why have I never seen this before? Check it out. Screamer over there. Yep. Of course there is. And we deal with them eventually. Perfect. And we shall throw this into the base. In a second. 
My dear Sheriff, you don't really think you can stop us, do you? Uh, not quickly. For the murder of my friends, I sentence you to death, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. So, been attracted to the base. Okay. I'm not entirely sure I threw it the way I intended to, but it might work. myself up a little bit. Okay. Perfect. It looks like they are mobbing the base, at least. Not entirely in the way I planned it. Okay, so... Alright, perfect. Ish. Yeah, this is not going the way I planned it. I had intended for that to go inside and kill them slowly. That is not how it's been going. Yep. Sounds about right. Most of them are angry survivors. Huh. Maybe I could have approached better over here. Nope. Nope, there's bars on the windows. Hmm. Yep, of course. Fuck it. Thank you. Lots and lots of deads incoming. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Where is Dawn? Okay. Well, there she is. Okay, well, she's fighting them more than joining up with me to take the other fuck on. Awesome. That went up a little better than I expected. Kill Josh. Where the fuck is he? Where the fuck would he be? Should probably have my gun on me. Out and on my person, rather. Nice. Feel graceful. We took him out. That was rather quick. God damn. We actually cleaned up this town. That's a big fucking win for Team Human. Did... Did that do it? Did I do it? I just had to shoot him? <laughs> a bunch? That did it. I am the law. You left a legacy as a sheriff. We did it. I was expecting a few more words than this. How oh, did me kept up on my computer. still here after so much loss? Now the way I see it, all of this is just a first step. We okay. take what we've done here. Some of this isn't going town by town. Some of this isn't actually voiced. It ain't ever going to be easy, but I know we're going to win. New Legacy Boon. 
Receive a pile of high-quality loot from old friends once a day. Ha! Huh. All right. And that's that. We did it. We absolutely did it. Well, this is going to be a short-ass episode. <laughs> I guess I'll just let the credits roll a little bit. Because these guys did phenomenal work. Now, this is the, usually the part where I start talking about my experience with the game and my opinion on it. I, I've struggled for a long time on what I was going to say here. And I think the majority of what I'm going to say is that compared to one, this feels lacking. Slightly. And I'm not... I'm not entirely sure why I feel that other than a lot of the difficulty in one is not really there in this one. A lot of the difficulty was in the fact that you are well and truly fucked in the first game. Zombies have happened, you don't know why, but it is a thing. And you are now having to deal with that. And you're having to deal with that with no preparation, no real idea what was going to happen, and it's just, there you go. Do it. Survive. And you had to try and do that with what you had and what you could get. And sometimes you would have helpful enclaves. Sometimes you would have, you know, stuff like that. But there was no real hostile enclaves like in this one. That was a change. That was a good change. I liked that. Most of the enclaves were usually helpful in the first one. This one, you kind of have to make sure that you're willing to help them too. Otherwise, they won't help you anymore. Which makes sense. I like that. I knew it was Dave Fenoy who did... <laughs> who did fucking Twain. I knew it. Anyway. I knew it was Dave. Anyway. Uh, I had to comment on that. <laughs> the game seemed like it lacked a lot of that hard-hitting punch. Uh, it had sometimes those particular moments of you're trying to look for a certain thing, you can't find it no matter how hard you try, and you're just sitting there going, why won't you just give me something, please? And that was a thing you could have in the first game, but it didn't feel as much like you were consistently screwed at all times. It just seemed like, oh, you just need to make sure you find the right spot. And I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that it kind of guided you a little in, oh, this place could have this sort of supplies or this sort of supplies. And that did help a little. So you could actually know where to go and what to look for and the making supplies thing also helped a little but I don't know it, it felt like it was easier this time around than it was in the first game and quite frankly I I'm one of the other people who is a little annoyed that they got rid of the uh, martyr system that was available in the first one. Uh, if you're getting overwhelmed by zombies, you 
just press a button and you take them all out as well as yourself because at that point you're fucked. That, I thought, was one of the wonderful additions that made it real. That if you can't survive and you know you can't, you will at least take out the ones that are taking you out and help the greater good by at least eliminating the bulk that are on you. Why they got rid of that, I don't understand. Uh, maybe it was a programming thing that was difficult to accomplish. I don't know. But... Anyway, I do like the game. I like the game for what it accomplished and what it was trying to do. Uh, it was trying to bring a more uh, multiplayer-friendly version of the game and brought in fresh meat as it did that. Pardon the pun. But it felt like it kind of fell short in what the original game was. And trying to reach for that. That said, I hear they're supposedly bringing in a hardcore mode. Your past communities want to help you out. Choose up to two legacies. I do not have more than one legacy yet. I was planning on eventually getting to that. We might add that as a second series. But for right now, I want to finish what I was talking about. I hear that they are going to bring in a hardcore mode in the game. I'm going to wait until that happens, and I will be doing the second playthrough in that. I'll be bringing Legacy uh, Sheriff along with me. I really hope, I really hope the hardcore mode is what I hope it will be which is essentially a tougher, more intense fight against zombies and humans. Because it seems with humans, it's fairly simple. Just shoot at them, eventually they'll go down. Like it was with the leader of the Flaming Badasses. I just shot at him enough with burst fire, he went down. Uh, with zombies, it's more you have to aim for a certain part because otherwise they're just going to slowly fall apart but still come after you. I've been hearing things like possibly the one-shot insta-kill on zombies will no longer be a thing. Uh, I do hope that instead of doing that, which will make it just slightly more aggravating, which is a thing I'm noticing in Resident Evil 2 while I'm playing that too. It is slightly more aggravating. Uh, I do realize that it might actually be more realistic at the same time because currently in the game, one bullet from anything, pop, head explodes, they're gone. That... <laughs> not to get morbid, but that isn't realistic. Uh, at a certain caliber, maybe. At a certain caliber point, maybe. But with, like, a 22, that wouldn't happen. With a 9 mil, probably wouldn't happen. Unless it's, like, a particular version of a 9 mil. Wouldn't happen. Um, anything from, like, 357 on? Probably. Probably. When you start slowly sliding up the scale of ammo probably would happen. So I do hope that they put in a sliding scale of what ammo would and would not cause an instant kill. Because 22, I feel, should take at least two or three. Uh, nine, maybe two, and then it's an insta-kill shot for 357 past that. Um... Other than that, I haven't heard a lot else about what the hardcore mode might entail. Uh, more limited supplies, uh, harder, uh, or rather, 
more cost to making supplies when you're doing that, which would be nice. Uh, at least to try and keep that, oh, you need to keep going and looking for stuff. Because uh, I didn't search the entire town. I went through certain buildings here and there just to get what I needed, but I didn't search the entire town. I didn't need to. Oh, it's starting to... <laughs> starting to uh, go to reset on me here. Uh, I didn't need to search through the entire town. In the first game, you needed to search the entire town to get all of the things you needed. This one, you didn't really need to do that. I do hope that they put a higher cost to things in the hardcore mode, which will mean you have to search. You will run out eventually. You have to keep looking. I didn't have that problem with this game. That's another thing. Uh, the supplies were a lot more plentiful and I mean that numbers wise not so much but they were plentiful in that I knew where to look what to get if I needed a certain thing and then that was it I had it it didn't drain as quickly uh, I don't know. I don't know how to phrase it. It just, it felt like the supplies were too easy to get and too easy to keep. So, I really hope that they do something with that as well in the hardcore mode. Um, maybe make you think about the ammo you're using specifically a lot more. Uh, melee weapons seem a little fragile. I really hope that they might buff that. Uh, later they seem extremely fragile uh, more fragile than I really think they should be but I mean it's, it's not it's not much uh, it's not much different from reality I think that they just need to buff that slightly um, maybe in hardcore mode they keep it the way it is now and in normal mode they buff it a little bit because it seems a little too fragile uh at least for those weapons seem relatively correct uh for you know firearms uh melee weapons not so much and yeah that's about it there's not much else i have to say uh i do like the game like i said i do like the game i like what they were going for uh, I think they lost a little bit of what made one so special along the way, but I do hope in hardcore they bring that back and that will give, you know, the players like me, the fucking hardcore crazies who love the shit out of the first one. And I have like millions of playthroughs through the first one. And I want to, I really hope that we can get that back with the hardcore mode here. And if they do make another game, which was apparently, uh, they wanted the first one to be more of an MMO sort of thing, but they couldn't really get that. And with the second one, this was a step closer in the direction that they wanted, but they couldn't actually get it that way. Uh, I do hope, I do hope that if they do manage that, they keep some of that well and truly fucked feeling that I got in the first game and I want to keep having that feeling because that would be exactly how it goes if this sort of thing happened in real life and it spreads as quickly as it does in this game you would be fucked um, I do I do think they also need to implement a harder infection rate and not just blood plague doing it but a certain number of bites uh, without medicine actually causing an infection. Uh, that seems like it might be difficult to keep up. Uh, if they do that in the hardcore mode, they might it, it might be a little difficult to keep that in a certain threshold properly. Uh, I, I, I would absolutely not know how the coding on that would work. So if they do that, I would really appreciate it as well because it seems like you can take thousands of bites all the time just pop some painkillers and you're good 
if, if it spread, if it spread as quickly as it does in the game, you would be getting it from at least five or six bytes. There is no way. Or over time from one. You'd be immediately contracting it after five or six, but you would be, you know, slowly getting it from one or two at best. For it to spread as quickly as it does in the game. Un unless you figure out some way to explain the immunity part, there wasn't really a lot touched on in that regard. At least not that I remember. Um, maybe you can try to explain the immunity to it a bit better. Uh, I don't know. But I love this game. I'm going to play it again. But the next playthrough we do, I'm going to be doing it in the hardcore mode when that releases. For now, this is going to be on the back burner for a little bit. But once that releases, I'm absolutely going to do that. But for now, we're going to set this up for Legacy on uh, Sheriff. Continue. Whoops, that was not the way I wanted to do that. And choose the survivors from the prior community that I can bring on absolutely going to bring on David absolutely uh, gonna bring on Dawn of course and I'm not sure I'm gonna bring on Cho uh, Maybe I'll bring in Mimi, because she is a warlord. Warlord? <laughs> warlord. No, warlord. And I do kind of want to try that a little bit. I do. I really do. Um, as it stands right now, she doesn't really compare too well to uh, David. But, I mean, that would be nice. Uh, maybe if there's another warlord that I can bring on, uh, metal work. Uh, although, honestly, metal work would be kind of nice, and I'll probably get other survivors at some point that would have warlord. Warlord. I can't fucking say that word. <laughs> warlord. Eventually, I will probably bring on survivors that have the warlord, uh, hero trait. Uh, one can only hope. Uh, yeah, as it stands for now, I think I like this. Uh, we'll start the new community. Uh, yes. We'll get it set up for now, and then I'll come back to this community when we get hardcore mode. But, hey, the next generation started a new community with survivors from a completed one. This starts like some of the new ones and that you we're do. Empty. Again. So, whose turn is it to find more fuel? Not me. Last time I took a wrong turn and almost got lost. I have a better idea. We could settle down here instead of moving on. I gotta say, it looks better than the last couple of towns we came through. Well, now that you oh, mention that it, pops on my computer. does feel kind of homey. It's settled. This town is where we'll set up our new base. We just have to find a spot that's defensible. Maybe with some room to expand. That sounds good to me. Alright, and we take this whole adventure on again. But for now, we end this for now. We come back when Hardcore Mode is available. Because I really want to play it on Hardcore Mode. <laughs> All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and 
finally completing the game and sharing my feelings on how this game could be better improved, hopefully in hardcore mode. And uh, we'll see how it goes when that releases. But for now, we're going to sit here and wait for you.